Martin, can you tell me why you're here today? It's an honor to be here with the Bally Murphy families. I don't think these families realize what they're accomplishing. 47 years ago, British troops rampaged for Bally Murphy, committed murder, thought they could get away with it, thought that they did so with impunity. And because these people refused to accept it, refused to accept the denial of truth, refused to accept every delay the British could throw at them, refused to bow down even when family members, close family members of those killed died, they have brought those troops back into the courtroom and now it is former British soldiers hiding behind screens, afraid to face the public for the actions that they've done. They have struck a blow for justice and it's for privilege to stand behind them today, as I have in the past, to bring that report back to America where so many people, congressmen, the Irish American community are watching and we just hope that they get the justice they so truly deserve because if the British won't give justice in a case where 11 people, including a Catholic priest and a grandmother were killed, who will get legacy justice from the British? And it's just a shame that Prince Charles had time to come here and worry about the tragedy of the pre-mark fire, but he had no time for the Ballymurphy families, for those people who killed in a regiment uh, for which he is the commander. It's a shame that British officials can sit at Westminster and talk about amnesties and statute of limitations and the role that their troops, the noble role their troops played in the North. And here we see the reality of killing men, women, and children, of getting away with it for 47 years and being afraid to face the families of the victims.